Okay, I'm going to show you how to find coterminal angles um, when you have an angle given in radian or degrees. So, for example, um, if, uh, first of all, coterminal angles are angles that start and stop in the same spot. So if we were to take a look at this angle right here, there's lots of ways that I could name this angle. The one that we have right here, um, let's just call this 120 degrees, just for um, sake of argument, okay? Well, what I could do is I could look at the angle coming from this direction and make it so that it's a negative angle. I could also say, well, what if I go around one full time, no, it doesn't work. What if I go around one full time and then stop there? Well, we can also do something similar where we come from the negative one and we go all the way around and then we come and stop back there. So there's, and we can keep going, and keep going around and around and around and around and around. So what we can do is we can find out coterminal angles. So if um, we want to find coterminal angles, what we did is we end up adding revolutions or subtracting revolutions depending on which direction that we were going. Um, a revolution in degrees is 360. A revolution in radians is 2 pi. So since we are in um, degrees here, I'm going to take 120 and if I want to find both a positive and a negative coterminal angle, I'm going to add 360 and I'm also going to subtract 360. So for my work I like to show plus or minus 360. So then in your calculator you can easily do this just 120 plus 360 which gives us 480 degrees. You also can hit this second and then enter button um, and then you can hit subtract and then um, you get negative 240 degrees. Right? And we could keep going and keep going and keep going to rename some, but these two are the ones that you would probably see if you were given um, a multiple choice test, just the closest ones to that. Um, now, what if I were to give you um, one instead that was something like 604 degrees? Okay. Well, if we look at 604 degrees, 604 degrees is already past 360. So if we do 604 and I take away 360, if we're looking at our picture, we've gone around one full time and then I'm going to 244. So there. Um, and um, now if I want to find positive and negative coterminal angles, I'm going to add and subtract 360 degrees. So we've already subtracted uh, 360 and I got 244. So if I do 604 plus 360, I'm going to get 964. So we have 244 and 964. But notice, both of these are positive. That's because our original number was around more than one full time. Um, so we have to actually end up to get a negative coterminal angle. You have to subtract more than one time around. So if we want to get our negative coterminal angle, I'm actually going to have to take 604, subtract 360, and then subtract 360 again. Now for my class, for showing the work, this is still sufficient for the work, but you need to do the 244 minus the 360. So then I'll end up getting a negative 116. Okay, so this is the negative 116 that we just found. Um, and then the 244 that we found is this one right here. If I give you um, negative 210 degrees, okay? So this one, um, and to find coterminal angles, you don't actually have to draw it. Um, it's just nice sometimes to have a visual. So if we look at this one, um, negative 210 is going to be past 180, so it's going to be about there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and subtract 360. So in the calculator I'm going to take negative 210 and I'm going to add 360. Then I'm going to hit enter. I can hit second enter to retype the same thing and then just hit subtract. So I end up getting 150 degrees and negative 570 degrees. Okay? So if we look at our picture, um, this right here would be the 150 degrees and then 
this would be the negative 570 degrees. Okay. Um, now, if we are going to um, find coterminal angles in radians, rather than add and subtract um, 360, we need to add and subtract 2 pi, because remember that in radians, this is 0, this is pi, and this is 2 pi. So our full revolution is 2 pi. So, if I were to give you, um, let's see here, 11 pi 36, okay, if I were to give you this number, what I want to do is add and subtract 2 pi, okay, well, half of 36 is 18, so this is less than half, so this is in our first quadrant right here, okay, now, you can find coterminal angles by adding and subtracting, um, finding a common denominator um, with or by hand. But we also have a calculator. Um, so what I'm going to do when I put this into the calculator, I'm actually going to do 1136 plus 2. And then we're going to use this math rack button that is life-saving. Um, and then it will turn it into a fraction for us. The reason I don't put pies in the calculator um, when I want a fractional answer is um, pi is an irrational number, which means that it cannot be turned into a fraction. So in my calculator, I'm just going to do 11 36ths plus 2, and then you can hit you can hit enter now, or you can hit math and then frac and do it all simultaneously. So then I can hit enter, and notice it puts 83 36 so when I go back to my paper, make sure you put the pi back in we were talking in terms of pi here. So then I'm going to hit second enter and I can just go back and hit subtract 2 and I get negative 61 pi 36. So your calculator actually is super helpful on this so that you don't have to find a common denominator. I could go ahead and find that you know this 2 pi is really over 1 so my common denominator would be 36 and then I would have to double 36 um, to get to 72, so this would be 72 pi 36, and then I do 11 plus 72, which would give me the 83, and 11 minus the 72, which would get me to the negative 61 pi 36. So that's how it actually does it, but um, your calculator is useful for finding the fraction that we have. So let's take a look at another example that's um, a radian problem. So if I want to find a positive and negative coterminal angle for 15 pi fourths, okay, so for my work I'm going to show plus and minus 2 pi. So in the calculator I'm going to do 15 fourths plus 2, and I'm going to use math frac. So 15 fourths plus 2, math frac, and then hit enter, which gives us 23 fourths. What am I missing? I'm missing the pi next to the 23. Remember, this was in terms of pi. I didn't put the pi in the calculator because I want it to reduce my fraction and add my fractions. Okay, So I get 23 pi 4. So I'm going to hit second enter and then do subtract. And I get 7 fourths, which I'm going to put as 7 pi fourths on my paper. Okay. Um, let's try one more. Let's do 23 pi 6. Okay. Now, if I do 23 pi 6, I'm going to add and subtract 2 pi. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 23 6 plus 2 and math frac. And then I'm going to do 23 6 minus 2 and math frac. So 23 6 plus 2 math frac, which gives us 35 pi sixths, and then I'm going to do second enter and do subtract, which gives us 11 pi six. Now notice on this one, we have two positive coterminal angles. That's because when I subtracted, our original one was past two pi, right? Six goes into 24, almost four pi times, right? So when I'm subtracting, 
I'm gonna need to take my 11 pi 6 and now I'm gonna have to subtract 2 so I'm just gonna hit minus 2 and I'm gonna hit math rack again so that I can get um, it as a fraction so I'm gonna have negative 1 pi 6 so I don't need the 1 there so it's just gonna turn into pi 6 so you could have either of these or you could also have this one as your coterminal angle. You would probably encounter these two on a multiple choice test versus these two. They usually do the two closest ones, and that's how you find your coterminal angles.